Jesus freak here. Now, I've had to mention this a few times. And it should go without saying, but... First of all, anything I'm saying in my videos is going to be my own opinion. And secondly, if I disagree with other YouTubers, other Christian YouTubers, I try to do so peacefully. I try to limit harsh criticisms. To fringe types, like prosperity gospel types, or squishy Christian types, on the premise that if someone's being heretical, we should be calling them out. But if they're not being heretical, there's, there's no reason for me to be putting them on blast. And with that said, I am going to disagree with people sometimes. We're human. We're not a hive mind. That we have become the new creature doesn't change these things. The battle between the flesh and spirit is a lifelong struggle. But with that said, I got to thinking. You see, I deal with a lot of people who profess to be Christians. Some of them are, some of them aren't. And some people are going to say, well, can you really say that someone's not a Christian if they call themselves Christian? I think we kind of need to have a fixed definition here. A Christian is one who belongs to Christ. One who is of Christ. If anyone's going to try to say, oh, Christian means little Christ, sorry, that ain't how language works. Now, There's two things I consider non-negotiable. Some people might differ on these, but I consider these non-negotiable. The first thing is, you have to accept that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost are, have always been, and will always be God. This, of course, includes the fact that God the Son is Jesus Christ. This is sort of a definition thing in that if you're not accepting Jesus Christ as God, how can you say you belong to Jesus Christ? And the second is that the first and last line in matters of authority is a standard 66 book Bible. Wait, did I just say Catholics and X weren't Christian? They put the authority of the Pope on par with the authority of Jesus Christ. The fact that they have a figure named a Pope 
is a direct violation of scripture. So yeah, they're not accepting Jesus' authority, they're outright rejecting it. So these are the two things, personally, I consider non-negotiable. Maybe your understanding of the Godhead isn't exactly Athanasian like mine is. I don't consider that too much of an issue unless you're going to say, oh, oh, Jesus became Christ and became God at his baptism or something like that. When you start going into doctrines that are obviously heterodox, By the way, it's called adoptionism. And obviously, if you're going to say that Jesus Christ was somewhat less than God, well, that's Arianism, which is something else. Or Sabellianism. Well, for most things, I call these the doubtful disputations in Romans 14. So a lot of things are negotiable. The only things that aren't to me are accepting the triunity of God and the deity of Christ and the canon of Scripture. See, on one hand, you have squishy Christianity. A lot of these people don't accept the deity of Christ. They might not even accept the authority of Scripture. They might consider it just the work of human hands, which it is, but it's not only the work of human hands. On the other hand, you have prosperity preachers who frequently have trouble with several verses in the Sermon on the Mount. And with other verses in the Gospels. They probably also don't consider the Bible the final arbiter. Paul mentioned people whose God was their stomach. John talked about people who came from us who weren't of us, but went out so that God could expose them. I have to be careful what I say. I'm trying to make it clear that, you know, yeah, I, I have disagreements. I have disagreements with people at my church, even the more orthodox types. My soteriology is completely different from that of my pastor. Which is odd because 
we both come from a Wesleyan faith tradition. But I don't think that's that big a deal. He's in a liberal denomination. He is, relatively speaking, a liberal Christian. He still preaches creationism from the pulpit. You hear a lot of squishy Christians, they're not doing that. They might not believe in creationism at all, in any form. And creationism can exist in other forms than young earth ex nihilo creation. In fact, I don't believe that Genesis is talking about creation from nothing. But that's just my opinion. You can certainly understand it that way. I think the fact that, that Genesis 1-2 is talking about water existing before God created the heavens and the earth means that we're not talking about creation from absolute nothingness. So that makes me an old earth creationist. I'm not going to fault young earthers just because I disagree with them. I still believe that creation such as it is was a six day act. As in six times 24. That's what? 144 hours? I still believe that. But the point is, we have a lot of people who call themselves Christians they don't accept the deity of Christ and they don't accept the Bible. So what are they? They're not Christians and it's because they've pretty much thrown out everything that makes one a Christian. Those are, in my opinion, the only two non-negotiables. We lose by trying to include them in our tent. It's like the camel sticking its nose in. If we want them to come in, we need them to convert. That's just a fact. Jesus freak out. 